Fayan Lyons Alvarez has replaced Peter Schoon as head of the team charged with planning and executing International Soka Monarch. This was confirmed by Chair of the National Carnival Commission, Winston Gypsy Peters. In an interview with TTT News, he said the competition has been on a downward spiral and at the risk of fading into oblivion. Mr. Peters is said to stop that from happening. The decision was taken to pay closer attention to and invest more in the competition. People who were there at the Soka Monarch before, we do not believe that, that we could have gone forward with them because it needed some more impetus, it needed some more international flavor and all of that. And um, they, 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 they decided to bring on Fair and Lions and her team of people that would, would produce the Soka Monarch that is now um, part of the Soka Monarch establishment, as it were. And that Responding to questions of nepotism and a possible conflict of interest, Mr. Peters said the NCC had absolutely nothing to do with the decision to appoint Fayan as head of the ISM team. The people who selected Fayan are the people who are responsible for Soka Monarch. Like I said, the NCC is a facilitator and a participant. We are taking part in it financially. We are making an investment that we are going to get back. The people of Trinidad and Tobago will get back their money. But at the end of the day, I had nothing to do with, with, with hiring fair, and I didn't even know when who, who was hired. So I want to make that pollucidly clear. Mr. Peters also revealed plans to return the ISM semis to the Arima Velodrome.